course of a year used to seem so long, but the older I get, the shorter it seems. However, it must have been a long year in Haiti. I never thought I'd be returning so soon, just a mere three months after my last trip. But then again, everything about Haiti has surprised me. It surprised me that an entire nation was enslaved by systemic poverty. And it surprised me that it's been like that for as long as anyone can remember. It surprised me that for most people, life goes on like this every single day because there isn't any other option. It surprised me that you can walk far and wide, but that the sights don't change in any direction. You're still gonna see destruction. You're still gonna see face after face begging for someone, anyone, to recognize their existence. You're still gonna see conditions that are far worse than anything you could imagine in your wildest dreams. It surprised me that in a nation where the concept of privacy doesn't even exist, there are so many people left feeling so alone. It surprised me to find that whilst they have to live with the consequences of these events day in and day out, we can easily enough pretend they didn't happen at all. It surprises me that I can live my own life so peacefully even while knowing the lives that they have to lead. But what surprised me more than anything else was the hope that I saw rising from the destruction. I was able to witness an outpouring love that I've never seen here and a joy that nothing's ever come close to. I was able to meet kids that had nothing but were so willing to give me their everything. I was told that life can't and life shouldn't keep you down. And I was told that anything's possible. I was told that life means so much more when we do it together. In Haiti, I found a spirit of unparalleled perseverance in the recognition that they have not, will not, and never will be abandoned. I was able to find that it doesn't matter who you are, where you're going, or where you've been, but that you're never alone. I saw real beauty. For me, beauty hasn't become about solving all the issues or combating all the problems. It's become more about serving the people who aren't willing to give up and becoming a people who won't give up on them. So I don't even consider it a question of whether he needs a motion. Because the fact of the matter is that a new world is breaking in in the midst of this old one. Where someone might consider hope so dead, I've never seen it so alive. I can see it in every flower that's budding, every smile upon someone's face, and every penny that's put to use. Because quite frankly, it's just undeniable that a change is happening in Haiti. I suppose the only question that remains is, what does that mean to us? What does that mean to you?